It's 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning and Neo the conservation dog and his grandson Bo are getting ready for some hard work at Ohiwa Sanctuary in the Bay of Plenty. We're just off to the Ohiwa headland to go monitor and protect some oi, which is also the grey-faced petrel, which are right on our doorstep here. And I've got two sidekicks here to help us out. Are you ready? OK, let's go. Even though conservation dogs and their handlers go through extensive training and assessment to become certified, conservation dogs always wear muzzles when working in the presence of protected species. This is Neo and Bo, they're German short-haired pointers, and Neo is a bit of a legend in the conservation dog world, and uh, he's going to pass on his knowledge to his grandson Bo. Neo here has a very special nose, and he can actually find Fio, Kiwi, Weka, and also Tuatara. He's the only dog in the country that can find five different species. So he's a real special character. Most conservation dogs are trained to indicate for just one or two Taonga species. The grey-faced petrel is also known as the great-winged petrel, oi, northern mutton bird, or titi. Grey-faced petrels are one of the few burrowing petrels to still survive on the mainland. Behind me is Matahora Island. It holds one of the largest populations of grey-faced petrel, or oi, uh, we're seeing these birds starting to recolonise the headland areas where they once historically were. Uh, they spend most of the day out at sea. Uh, during the breeding season they will come back to the um, islands and to the mainland where they will sit there and um, occupy the nest for up to 30 days. The chicks will be very vulnerable there at that stage sitting in their little burrows and that's why uh, I guess we're doing the work we're doing here. So we're just going to start our um, search for the oi, or the grey-faced petrel, along the um, Ohiwa headland bluffs here on the base. So I'm just going to unclick Neo here and get him into searching. Where you go? Where is it? Neo and I have been working together for uh, 14 years now, so I've learned to uh, read his indications. With seabirds it's quite easy because they're really smelly, they smell like fish. He's quite a character and he's got an amazing sense of smell. Really slow and methodical, and I guarantee if he goes onto a scent, he'll, he'll locate what's there. Good boy. So Nia has just found this nicely excavated petrol burrow from one that's just been prospecting uh, at the headland area. And I'm just giving him a nice bit of positive reward to encourage him that this is what we're after and he's been a good boy. These are oi feathers. The birds sometimes drop these in around their burrows. It just shows that they've uh, recently been in here prospecting, which is what we want to see, that these headlands are starting to be recolonized and birds are all coming back from Motahora. Okay, so what happens next is we'll get our GPS out and we'll mark the burrow. So that gives us a global positioning point for this burrow here. Did you see how it was done, Bo? That's how you find a petrol burrow. <laughs> it's after dark that Andy will head out again to visit the burrows Neo and Bo have found to see if the birds are present. These oi are very special. They come in late at night, in the evening, just on dusk. You can hear, hear them calling as they come into the uh, mainland, and you can actually see them if you really uh, have uh, good eyes. This is an oi, or a grey-faced petrel. And these are the birds that are coming back into our headland area that we're trying to protect. I have an amazing job. I love my work. Having two sidekicks like this to work with is pretty amazing. Restoring New Zealand's natural environment, leaving a legacy for future generations to enjoy, and preserving some of these uh, rare and unique species that we have. Uh, it's pretty special. They're pretty enjoyable companions to have along with you along the uh, on the way and the journey. So, yeah, really blessed to have these guys as my workmates and colleagues.